Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Kristen, and I'm the education director here at Sea Turtle Inc. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. We just sprinted out to the beach. We have something really exciting going on. So I'm going to spin the camera around so you guys can look. We are in the city limits here on South Padre Island, and we have a nesting turtle. So again, I apologize I'm out of breath. I know it's the middle of the day. We probably won't get a lot of you catching this live, um, but hopefully you guys can watch the replay. If you do have questions, put them in the comments. So again, we are here in the city limits. This is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. This is our state sea turtle here in Texas. You guys will see our conservation team working up the turtle. So if you look closely at her back flippers, she's gonna start putting sand on top of that nest. She has just laid her eggs and they are working on collecting data off of this nesting turtle. Ren, our field park is applying text to the turtle and collecting web data. So if you guys have questions, put them in the comments and I can answer them as I see them come up. For those of you that aren't familiar, Sea Turtle is a nonprofit Sea Turtle Hospital located on South Padre Island, Texas. We have a three-tier mission to rescue and rehabilitate sick and injured sea turtles for release back out into the wild. We work towards education as well as conservation efforts for all marine turtle species. So right now is nesting season here in Texas. The season officially started on April 1st. There was a slight delay because of the cold temperatures that we had back in February. So um, nesting started later than usual, but we are finally starting to see these turtles come up to nest. So I'm gonna let you guys watch. So what she's doing is she is taking her back flippers and pulling that sand on top of that nest cavity and you guys will see her rocking back and forth to pat that sand down really tightly. Once she's done, she'll kick that loose sand all around to help disguise that nest from predators. If you guys do have questions, put them in the comments. Go ahead and comment where you guys are tuning in from. And let us know. I said yesterday when we were in the corral that I had my fingers crossed for us to get a turtle in the city. And here we are. Hey Ruby, you've been in so many of our lives. We're so excited that you guys are able to catch this nesting turtle. Um, I'm sure I'll say this a lot throughout the course of this live, but it is nesting season here in Texas. So if you guys are out on the beach, especially if you're here on South Padre Island, make sure you guys call Sea Turtle Link if you see a turtle that is actively walking around on the beach, coming up towards the dunes. The turtle is on the beach to lay their eggs. All right, I see a lot of you commenting from all over Florida, Texas, California, Pittsburgh. Thank you guys so much. Ah, my aunt's on here. Hi, Miss Davis, Hawthorne Elementary students over in Lorraine, Ohio. So y'all just learned about the life cycle in our virtual culture, but now you get to see what we do with these turtles. So really exciting. I am trying to keep the wind out of the mic, so I hope you guys are able to hear everything I'm saying. So Debbie is asking, how many times in their lifetime do they lay eggs? So for the Kemp's Ridley, they mature between um, 10 and 15 years old. So they nest in cycles. So they will lay their eggs every two to four years, and they will lay two to three nests in a single nesting season. And they do that um, up until it's their time to go. So there's no menopausal turtles or anything. They continue laying eggs. So they will produce thousands and thousands of eggs over the course of their lifetime. Um, Kara's asking how many eggs are in a typical nest. So the Camp Tridley will lay on average of about 100 eggs per nest. Sometimes it is more than that, sometimes it's less. <laughs> you guys are awesome. More people tuning in from all over. We are live out here on the beach. So Sarah's asking, what are the ladies doing to the turtles? So the good question. Um, our conservation department and our staff are trained to work with these animals. So what they are doing is actually applying tags to this nesting turtle. So whenever we encounter a turtle that is out on the beach nesting, we do apply tags to them. So when they come back and nest in the future, we can re-identify those females. So Mariana is our conservation coordinator, the one that's laying right here on the ground. And she just applied a metal tag to the back of that turtle's flipper. We also applied pit tags, which is just like if you were to microchip your cat or dogs at home, same concept. Um, it all allows with re-identification of these turtles. So Lauren says, hello from Massachusetts, where lots of young Kemp's get stranded. So nice to see the life cycle continue. Yes, 
So here in Texas, we are for, we have a foraging ground for juvenile green sea turtles. The Kemp's Ridley, when they are juveniles, their foraging grounds are up around Cape Cod, Massachusetts. <clears throat> Victoria is asking how many eggs make it. Um, so right now, you guys are watching Mariana measure the turtle. And this is all data that we write down. So say in four or eight years, this turtle comes back to nest again. We can look at these prior measurements and see how much the turtle has grown. Um, in terms of how many make, eggs make it, so once this turtle safely makes it back out into the water, our staff will relocate this nest. So here in Texas, our beaches are considered open road. The Kemp's Ridley is one of the most endangered species of sea turtle in the world. So we want to make sure that these turtles and these nests are as protected as possible. So we take them to a corral. It's a fenced in area on the beach where we will redo the hole in the sand just like this turtle did and just move those eggs to a safe area. For those of you that didn't catch our Facebook Live yesterday, um, go back and watch that one because um, I was on there again and Mariana was there showing you guys exactly what we do whenever we find a nest. So make sure you guys scroll back once this live video is over. So Lauren's asking how far apart do they lay those two to three nests? It'll be a few weeks in between. <laughs> Alright, so uh, hello St. Peter's preschool kids over in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so Tracy's asking, does it stress the turtle out when people are so close? Um, so because they are behind her, it is not affecting her much. We usually do try and collect um, all of these measurements as well as apply tags to the turtle when she is laying her eggs. At that state, she is in trance, so she is not familiar with anything that is going on around her.